Okay, so as a math teacher, I can tell you right now that so many students make errors when it comes to calculating the slope between two points or two coordinates. So I'm going to be reviewing how to do this, and I think the real value of this video is I'm going to show you or highlight this very, very common mistake. A lot of people confuse how to find the slope between two points. All right, but uh, if you think you know how to do this, what we're going to do in this video is calculate the slope between the coordinates 1, 3, and 3, 1. So we're trying to find M or the slope. Now, if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you a full breakdown of how to solve this problem. And again, I'm going to highlight this very common error. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and just kind of graphically see what's going on here. So here I have the point 1, 3, and 3, 1, and I'm going to plot these on the xy plane. Now I'm using the, um, uh, the term point, but in algebra, in mathematics, uh, point is the same thing as what we call a coordinate, and it's the same thing as what we call an ordered pair, okay? So... Uh, basically, this uh, uh, 1, 3, 3, 1, these are effectively addresses, right? Like if you live on some particular, you know, wherever you live, you have an address, right? Maybe you live on 1, 2, 3 uh, Magnolia Street. Well, that is your address, right? So the location or the address of these points, we use a uh, kind of location system, and that is an ordered pair, all right? So effectively, an ordered pair is we're going to have a pair of values and they're going to have a, a specific order okay x being the first value okay so these are our x's and the second number is our y value okay so but anyways don't let these terms kind of throw you they are all synonymous so i can say here are some coordinates or here's some ordered pairs or here's some points they all mean the same thing okay but obviously you definitely need to know how to uh, find or uh, uh, write the order pair, the, you know, the XY point for respect to points and plot points, all really basic stuff. But uh, here is the point one, three. If I was to plot it, it's one uh, on the X axis, three on the Y axis. So it would be right here. And the point three, one would be right here, uh, three on the X, one on the Y. Now, the question is, we want to find the slope between these two points. Really, it's the a line that travels through these two points. We want to find the, uh, this particular slope, and the slope is often indicated by this small, uh, by the variable a small m, okay, a lowercase m. Now, there's something that you need to know about slope in general, okay? So lines that increase from left to right, okay, as I'm looking at the XY uh, or, um, Cartesian plane here, XY plane, lines that increase have a positive slope, okay? Lines that decrease this way, like the line that we're talking about right now, have a negative slope, and then you have uh, totally flat lines, okay, horizontal lines. These have no slope, okay? So, uh, you know, like a, a line that's parallel to the x-axis has a zero slope. And then lines that are totally vertical have a slope of what, what we call undefined. Okay, that's an undefined slope. Now, I'm, I can really get into this, you know, um, in a more formal way. But this is not the video to do it in. There's a lot that you kind of need to kind of uh, understand about slope. But these general kind of patterns are important because when you're looking at something like here, I have, oh, I want to find the slope uh, between these two points or a line that would pass through these two points. If I look at the pattern, I'm anticipating that my answer is going to be negative, right? Because it follows that negative pattern. So when I calculate this, I better get a negative number. Uh, so just knowing if you want to cut a quick uh, way to check whether you think you got the right or wrong answer, just plot these uh, the two points that you're trying to find the slope with and just ask yourself, hey, is it a positive or a negative? That at least that's kind of one way to kind of check, okay? Obviously, if you have the wrong sign, uh, like some of you over here, okay, if you got your slope being equal to 1, that's a positive number. The slope is negative, okay? So if you were to have those points plotted, you'd be like, oh, it can't be positive because uh, this is negative. Okay, so anyways, again, 
if you are having trouble with any of these topics or if this video is a little bit too much in terms of like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you're kind of confusing me already. Well, you need to kind of go back and just start from the beginning. So let me suggest uh, some more of my videos on YouTube um, about slope. I do have some more basic videos, but really probably want to check out like my pre-algebra course or my algebra one course and uh, go into all my instruction on slope. Okay, so what is the formula for slope? Well, there's different ways we can describe the slope of a line, and these are the most common ways. So the slope, by definition, is the rise over the run of a line. So we're talking about like a fraction here, right? A rise over the run. Now, a fancy way to describe this is the rise of a line, okay, is how much it's rising or dropping down. This is in the y direction, right? So we can uh, write it this way. The change in y, this little triangle, is a fancy uh, 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 way to say delta y, right? This is actually what we call the delta. Um, and it's used more, this notation is used more in advanced mathematics. But delta y just means the differences of the y's, i.e. you're going to subtract the y's. So it's delta y over delta x. You see this type of notation uh, typically like in calculus, all right, in physics and things like that. But so if you've never seen it before, don't let it scare you. It just means that we're going to subtract the y's and so, uh, put that over the differences of the x's. So most of you are familiar with this formula for the slope. And now before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Yeah, y2 minus y1. Again, that's the change in y's, right? Delta y's. So what are these y2s and y1s and x2s and that over x1? So you have the change of y's over the change of x's or the rise over the run of a line. So if you're given two points, uh, x1, y1, okay, and another point, x2, y2, we simply just plug in those uh, values into this respective formula and we'll be good to go. Now, if you uh, strictly follow this formula, you should not make any errors, but here is where students tend to make mistakes. So let's get into the actual calculation now of the slope between these two points. So here we have 1, 3, and 3, 1. So our formula, our one uh, version of it, is uh, the slope is going to be equal to the change in y's, the differences of the y's over the differences of the x's. Okay, so where are the y's and where are the x's? Again, we're talking about x, y order pairs here. So these second numbers are the y's, okay? And the first values uh, in um, these points are the x values. So we're really talking about just plugging in all this stuff into this uh, simple formula, and we should have no problem, right? Okay, so now let's go ahead and actually do the calculations here. Okay, so here uh, I have the slope is equal to 3 minus 1, but that represents what? Well, I'm going to subtract the y's. I'm going to find the differences of the y's. So where are the y's? Well, this is one of them, and this is the other. So I'm going to go ahead and take 1, and I'll subtract away from 3, or 3 minus 1. You can kind of see that right here, okay? No problem there. Now here is where students will make an error. They're like, okay, I get that. I'm subtracting the y's. Can I just say uh, uh, 3 minus 1? Here's the x's right here, right? So if these are the y's, let's subtract the x's. 3 minus 1. Uh, would that be okay? Well, no. It has to be 1 minus 3 if you do the problem this way. So why is this? Well, this is this in very important detail, and I'm going to tell you this right now. Okay, order does make a difference. When you're subtracting the y's and subtracting x, x's, you have to be very careful. And when it comes to slope, there are two uh, huge common uh, mistakes that students make. Right? The first one is students will sometimes put the x's uh, uh, over the y's. Okay, remember, it's the change in the y's over the x's. It's just I'm just telling you from decades of teaching math, the kind of mistakes that I've seen. A lot of times students will forget the formula and they'll kind of flip this upside down. So don't do that. So 
That's one mistake, but the second mistake here, uh, the one I'm gonna emphasize is probably even more common. All right, so when you're finding this slope between two points, what I like to do, what I tell my students is underline uh, one point. Does it make a difference uh, what point? It could be this point, it could be this point. I'm gonna start with this point, okay? Now, if I start with this point, I'm going to use its information first. Okay, so it's going to be, I'm going to use this Y, I'm going to write that first, and I'll subtract the other Y. So that's going to be 3 minus 1. Okay, see how that works? So I'm using this information first, this this uh, uh, coordinate first from this point. So that that's the differences of the Y. So when I go to find the differences of the X's, I must use this uh, coordinates information first again. All right, so that is 1, all right, 1 minus three, one minus three. Okay, this the, this uh, coordinates information comes second, all right? Now, if you said, oh, well, I just subtract the x's, three minus one. Well, if you did three minus one, you would have two over two or positive one. So that, again, we know that's wrong because when we look at the plot of this uh, of these two points, we're expecting a negative value. So this is a huge error. A lot of students make this mistake. So three minus one, of course, is two. One minus three produces that negative two. Two divided by negative two is negative one. And that is what we're anticipating, right? We got a line uh, going through these two points. It's gonna be something like this. So we're looking for a negative slope. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may wanna check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm gonna leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.